Okay, this is the P2 paper from June 2022. This is question number 10, which is the last question on the paper. And we can see by looking at it that this is work on coordinate geometry. We're going to be doing some work on equation of a circle and properties of a straight line. But let's have a look and see what they've given us. So we've got a circle um, C, which is center 3, 5 and radius R. And we've got a straight line Y equals 2X plus K where k is a constant. Well, if that's a straight line, then I know the intercept here is going to be at k there. I might need that a little bit later on. What does part A say? Part A says show that L and C intersect when, and then we've got this complicated equation here. Well, how do I find out where two lines intersect? Let's get started with this. So first of all, equation of a circle, x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared equals r squared. That's the equation of a circle if I've got a center a, b, and radius r. So in this case, I've got x minus 3 all squared, y minus 5 all squared equals r squared. So that's the equation of the circle. And then I've also got the equation of a straight line, y equals 2x plus k. So that's the second equation. And what I need to do is to solve these two simultaneously. Well, the easiest way to do that then is to substitute 2x plus k in for that y there. So let's go ahead and do that. I've got x minus 3 all squared plus 2x plus k minus 5 all squared is going to be equal to r squared. So if I'm going to multiply this out, um, x minus 3 all squared is x minus 3 times x minus 3. You take your time and do it. I've already done it. So I got that to be x squared minus 6x plus 9. And let's just talk about the other thing here. I actually treated this as 2x plus k minus 5 multiplied by 2x plus k minus 5 and then what I did was this times this this times this this times this and this times this using your foil I'm not going to show you all that working obviously because the video would take forever if I was doing bits and pieces like that you just need to make sure that when you do it you end up with exactly what I got here which was 4x squared I get 4x lots of k minus 5 plus k minus 5 all squared and k minus 5 all squared is k squared minus 10k plus 25 is equal to r squared. So take a little bit more time than I've done there. Uh, make sure that you're accurate and are still able to do it in a certain amount of steps as we're going through. We're trying to do a proof here. So if I tidy this all up, I've got 5x squared. I've got minus 6x and I've also got plus 4 kx there i've got minus 20x that's all my x's then i've got k squared i've got minus 10k i've got plus 34 and i've got equals r squared so as i say showing that this is a proof i can then go from that i think fairly reasonably to the next stage which is the answer to say it's 5x squared with the x's i've got 4k minus 26, the minus 20 and minus 6 there combine. So that many lots of x, and then everything else is the constant. k squared minus 10k plus 34 minus r squared equals 0. And that's actually what we were trying to prove in the first place. Just make sure you've got enough steps there, uh, as I say, because it is a proof. So that's part A done. What does part B say? So part B says... Given that L is a tangent to a C, well, we sort of knew that anyway from the diagram, but now we can confirm that that's only meeting at one point there if it's a tangent. So if it's only meeting at one point, even though I've got a quadratic equation there, I've got x squared, x, and a constant, uh, I can only have one solution to that. So I now need to say all that so that the examiner, or to prove to the examiner that I know what's going on here. So what we can say is... Um, if it is a tangent, then they meet at one point only. 
And if that's the case, then um, therefore one repeated root for my quadratic, therefore b squared minus 4ac equals naught. Now, when I'm talking about b squared minus 4ac equals naught, what we're saying here is that a is 5, b is 4x minus 26, 4k minus 26, sorry, and c is all of that bit there. So when I'm doing b squared minus 4ac, those are my a, b, and c. Let's do that then. That's just for you, obviously, in terms of the examiner. I'm going to show that with what I'm doing now. So b squared is 4k minus 26 squared minus 4 lots of a times c. So 4 times 5 times c, which is this k squared minus 10k plus 34 minus r squared. All of that is equal to dawn. So now, we again, just like I said before, I'm going to do this a little bit quicker than you uh, would do initially. Take your time. 4k minus 26 times 4k minus 26. If you need to do it as two brackets so that you're getting the accurate answer here, I've already done it. So I got 16k squared minus 208k plus 676 there. And then it's minus 20 times all of that bracket. So that gives me minus 20k squared plus 200k minus 680 and then plus 20r squared equals naught and i now need to just tidy that up uh, first stage i got which basically was leaving the 20r squared on one side and taking everything else over to the other i got 20r squared was equal to 4k squared plus 8k plus 4. I then divided everything by 4, so I ended up with 5r squared equals k squared plus 2k plus 1. And at some stage, you need to have looked at what we were trying to prove. This would be a great stage to do that, to then see that my right-hand side is actually k plus 1 all squared. So a lot of algebra involved there. I don't know how far you would have got through it. Obviously, if you're a top student, you would have got all the way. But if you get some of the way through that, you're going to get some marks for it going through to do part B. Part C then, well, we can do part C without it because they've told us, well, I suppose you need to know that P is equal to one here. So P is equal to one. So when I'm trying to do this work in a second, then I've got to remember that P has worked out to be equal to one, which means that I know here the 5R squared is going to be k plus 1 all squared. I'll use that later. So just have that in mind when we're doing the next part. So the next part says, um, given that a, b is equal to 2r, can we find what k is? Well, yeah, if I go back up to my diagram here, what I'm going to try and do is use Pythagoras now with this triangle here. Okay, we know that's 90 degrees here we obviously know that's the radius of the circle they've just told me that that's 2r so if i use pythagoras this squared plus this squared equals this squared i can work out what 3 5 and k or sorry, sorry 0k i can work out the length of that and then let's just see where we get to with it so again i've explained it to you let's now just explain it to the examiner so the examiner can see what I'm doing here. So what I'm going to say is, um, using Pythagoras, I'm going to get that AB squared plus BX squared is equal to AX squared. Go and look at the diagram. You can see where that comes from. Well, AB squared is 2R squared bx squared is r squared is equal to ax squared. I'll worry about ax squared in a minute. Let's just tidy it all up first of all. Um, that's 4r squared plus r squared is equal to ax squared, which is 5r squared equals ax squared. And then we just had um, 5r squared from before. 5r squared is k plus 1 squared is equal to ax squared. 
Now let's think about what AX is going to be. Well, as we said, if we've got the values, let's go back to our diagram, 3, 5 and 0, K here, then we can just using it, using the, just work it out, sorry, using the length of a line. So AX squared is going to be X2 minus X1 squared plus Y2 minus Y1 squared. So if we tidied that up, that works out to be 9 plus 25 minus 10K plus K squared. You can see I'm doing this quite quickly now. Um, if that's a X squared, that can also now equal K plus 1 all squared. So K plus 1 all squared can equal to What's that, 34? Well, in fact, let's, let's tidy it up. Let's write that the right way around now. We've got k squared minus 10k plus 34 there. Tidy it all up. So that's k squared plus 2k plus 1 equals k squared minus 10k plus 34. And then that will just tidy up now. The k's will, k squareds will cancel. I'm going to get 12k equals... 33, which gives me K equals 33 divided by 12, or rather K equals 11 over 4. Now, don't worry too much if you can't get exactly to the end of that answer. This is the last part of the last question. Um, but hopefully, now that I've explained it, it makes sense to you and see how many marks you can get with you having a go at doing it. Okay, hopefully that makes sense.